This screencast is covering the marginal cost curve and the different segments that go along with it. Um, things that we talk about here with the marginal cost curve only apply to a perfectly competitive firm. When we talk about the monopolies, the monopolistic competition, and the oligopolies, the marginal cost curve is not going to perform the same functions as it is here. Um, our marginal cost curve should look the same. It is this Nike swoosh. You have the ATC and the AVC that are U-shaped because of diminishing returns. The ATC is above the AVC and the distance between it, remember, is the AFC. Um, one of the components that we're going to look at here is the shutdown point. The shutdown point is where a firm would look at to determine if they should shut down and produce nothing or if they should operate. When we say shut down and produce nothing, it doesn't mean that they're going out of business and stopping production forever. Shut down and produce nothing is a short run decision and it could be that maybe they're not going to operate on Mondays or maybe they're going to shut down and not operate for a month or two because seasonally it just wouldn't make sense for them to do this. But then once the time changes, then they'll um, operate and be back in business. And so when we're looking at the shutdown point, the formula that you see here is price equals minimum ABC. We can see that on the graph here at Q2. Our marginal cost curve where it intersects the ABC curve is at minimum ABC. Um, this here obviously should be labeled Mr. DARP. However, in this instance, it just says demand to is marginal revenue to. And remember, that's what your price is equal to. And so in here, you see that price equals minimum ABC. At a quantity of Q1, this firm should shut down and produce nothing. Because what it's saying is that at this price, they are not able to cover all of their average variable costs, meaning they can't cover their wages for their workers or their electricity or the raw materials that go into it. And so if a firm can't even cover those things that they can control, it is not a good idea for them to operate and to be in business. So at Q1, you would shut down and produce nothing. At Q2, you would operate because this is where price is equaling minimum ABC. And so you've, you're at least breaking that, part, that cost component off with your price. And so then you would operate. You're losing, obviously, your fixed costs because you're, um, you're able to cover your variable costs. The point we have here at Q3 in this one here, this firm should operate. You're continuing to um, have a price that's greater than your average variable cost. And so you're able to cover um, your average variable cost, but you're not able to cover all of your fixed costs because your ATC is up here. So per unit, your fixed costs are um, not being covered, but for sure your variable costs are. And so um, that's why it would make sense for the firm to operate here. And then as you're moving along, you're doing better and better. Maybe demand has gone up or something, and that has caused this price to rise. And so at demand four, what you see here is that you have your price equaling your ATC. And so therefore, you're able to break even. Now, we shouldn't feel bad for this firm because remember, when you break even, you are still earning your normal profit. Um, and so this would be, again, where total revenue equals total cost, but the formula that we need to know for break-even is price equals ATC. So when you're looking at a marginal cost curve, the minimum part of the marginal cost curve is where this firm would operate. The shutdown point here, because everything to the right of it is part of the marginal cost that they would use. And so this is the beginning part of the supply curve at the shutdown point. And so as we're moving along the marginal cost curve, this is also referred to as the firm supply curve from the shutdown point up until you get to the um, all along this marginal cost curve here. So if you're asked questions about where is the supply curve for this firm, it is from minimum ABC up along the marginal cost curve.